Hey, thank you so much for joining us today. We're gonna to be going through the seal and answering any questions you may have to make sure you have the best experience possible. Let's start by jumping right in the box and showing you everything that comes with it. In the box, you'll find a quick start guide, the stylus, stylus battery, charger, and the seal. All right, so you've seen what comes inside the box. Now let's go check out the physical features. We'll start by taking a look at the two megapixel front facing camera. You will also see the Back USA logo located on the bottom of the screen. This functions as a secondary Windows Home button. On the back of the device, you'll find a few different things, including the NFC, the 8 megapixel rear facing camera, the fingerprint reader, and the serial number. Located on the right hand side of the seal, you'll find most of the ports, including a micro HDMI, a Type C 3.0, a USB-A 3.0, and a headphone microphone jack. On the top of the device, you'll locate the power button, the volume buttons, the flashlight or barcode scanner buttons, depending on your configuration, and the Kensington lock. You'll also see a stylus and stylus clip. All right, now that we've gone through the packaging and the device, Let's jump right into Windows 10, get you all set up, and check out some of the incredible features it has to offer. The first thing we're going to need to do is turn the device on. You can do that by finding the power button in this upper right-hand corner. You're going to press and hold until you see that power light indicator do a red flash after about three or four seconds. You can then let go of the power button, and it'll turn right on for you. Now that we've got the device turned on, you're going to have two options for getting it set up. You can either use Cortana, which is going to be like your personal assistant and will listen to your voice commands, or you can use the touch screen to go through basic setup. Now that we've chosen setup options, let's go ahead and select a region. This will make sure that your device is optimized for your location. Your next option is going to be for selecting your primary keyboard. For most people, it'll just be the standard US keyboard. You can select that and then press yes. The next option will be for a secondary keyboard. This is not something that everyone uses, but if you'd like, you can go ahead and select it here, or you can go ahead and press skip. Now that we've got the keyboard all set up, let's take a look at the network options. Depending on which device you purchase, you're gonna see either Wi-Fi or LTE available. If you've chosen an LTE device, you'll see that it's a metered connection. That's the term that Windows uses, and that just means that they're gonna be keeping track of the data rates that are tracked along the way. So since updates are applied at this stage of the setup, you'll want to be sure that you've connected to a Wi-Fi network unless you have unlimited data, because that'll be metered the entire time it's downloading those updates. And now that we've connected to a network, you're gonna need to agree to the Windows terms and conditions to continue with the out-of-box experience. To do this, please select Accept in the lower right-hand corner. Now that we've got the legal stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and get the account all set up. On this screen, you'll be able to select either setting up the computer for personal use or for organizational use. Pretty easy difference here. If you're going to be using your own email address, connecting to your own Wi-Fi, things like that, you'll want to join as a personal. If you're going to be setting up through an organizational email using their Wi-Fi, select organizational and select next. One of the final options in account setup will be for a secure login via the fingerprint. You can choose to skip or set up. If you choose set up, you'll want to be sure to have your finger cleaned and oriented in the position you'll be using it most to make sure it gets a good connection. Now, just in case you forget your password, you're going to want to set up a pin. This will give you access to the device and the files on it, just in case you forget. In the beginning of our setup, we were introduced to Cortana, and she's a personal assistant who offered to go through and help get everything set up on the device. Here, you'll be able to select if you would like to have her embedded into the operating system by selecting yes or no. If you have more questions about what exactly she does, there's the learn more option in the bottom left. One of the last steps in getting your account all set up is choosing your privacy settings. You can choose yes or no to any of these and then press accept in the bottom right hand corner. One thing to note is that you can change these at any time. Now that we've got the account and the device all set up, there's a few differences between a tablet in Windows 10 and a desktop in Windows 10. So we want to go through and make sure you understand the best way to use it. Here you can easily switch back and forth between tablet mode and desktop mode. Here you'll find your network settings. Type Bluetooth in the lower left hand search bar to pull up the Bluetooth settings page. Here you can connect and disconnect to any Bluetooth devices. 
Edge is the default browser in Windows 10. If you're more familiar with a different browser, you can open Edge, search and download for whatever browser you're most familiar with. Here you'll be able to adjust power and sleep settings. If you'd like to personalize your background, you can right click on the desktop and click here. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're so excited we were able to go through the SEAL device and answer any questions. If there's anything else we can help you out with, please give us a call at 716-970-4110 or stop by our website at backusa.com where you can find our shop page, support, and contact details. Thank you very much and have a good one.